Hey, today I thought I was going to do a little sketchbook tour, sketchbook share, you know. I have a video where I paint the cover and also talk about what I think about the book as a journal or as a sketchbook. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> Let's just open up and see what this book is filled of. Now, I, I think I need to start by saying that this paper is more of a mixed media, um, bit thinner, and I like that I used it more as a sketchbook and not so much like a watercolor sketchbook, if you know what I mean. So I mixed a lot more media, and I feel like I actually worked on, worked in it, not just did finished pieces, but actually did some work in it. Anyway, 30th of June to 1st of November. And it's a Jane Devonport journal from her drawing room collection. Here I have some stuff, random stuff. This is the sketch for the cover. Some, a little polar bear from the Winston Newton ink. And then here I just swatched some ink that I bought from Jane Davenport at the same time when I bought this journal. Like I said, a little bit of a sketchbook here. Some very loose drawings that I wanted to make like a family portrait of our animals that uh, I just couldn't find a good composition for them and I felt like I'm better to walk away. But it's still something I, I would like to do. Uh, as you can see here, especially where our cat was sort of the center and um, he has, since this drawing, he has moved on. And uh, I still feel like that is a little bit odd, a little bit weird. So I'm just, I like the idea and I think I will do something, but for now I'm, I'm going to leave it until I feel more ready to, to do that. When I was working in this sketchbook, it was mostly summer. And in the summer, I like to draw dinosaurs or dinosaur skulls. Why? I have no idea, but I've done it for years. <laughs> so here is one of those spreads. I feel like I could fill it out more, but at the same time, this was that day. This is how much I did that day. And I feel like that's good. I really like it. Uh, I'm very happy with this one in particular and also that skull. The others, I'm a little bit, um, especially here, I feel like it got very muddy, but that is a lot to do with the paper. Uh, but I do like my little Albert drawing or doodle here. <laughs> Here's another example of the sort of watercolor quickly become muddy or not muddy. I think muddy is the right uh, is the wrong word, but it doesn't have that luminosity as a good paper will give it. So that's just something to keep in mind. But still, I'm I'm glad I did it. I'm really glad I did it. And these two horses are the horses who come here each summer to to grace and they have become part of our little summer family so I'm really happy they, that they are here. Uh, I apparently needed to do something with purple and lavender color. Uh, you know sometimes that's that's life and um, yeah I think I was working on something in my head and then I swatched out all the different purple pigments that I had um, yeah, not quite sure, but I do like the page. <laughs> Here is a little, uh, study, uh, just, I did the or, uh, organic expressive florals on Skillshare, uh, from Omar Wynn, and this was, like, before I did the class practices, so I just wanted to do this, see where I was at, and then I did the class practices on different paper. The page here. Uh, is no longer here because I cut it out. It is now framed and sold and will be somewhere else. This one is a study of uh, an orchid that I have here and when I was when it was blooming I drew it. I'm really happy with it and then I just did a circle and put some uh, foil gold over because I love I love when it's shiny. Here we have just, uh, this I think should be like Earth and the Moon, and this is just something else. And you can see some sparkle here too. The big sparkle pieces is the mica flakes, and I have those in the shop. This one right here, <laughs> that is Agnes, which I love. And I also have some Agnes here on Earth, because, you know, 
that's too pretty not to. I'm not really sure here what I was going with. Uh, here's a very loose watercolor floral and here's something that has been like cross hatched and I don't know, I'm not really sure. Uh, apparently I wasn't sure back then either because I left it. I don't, I don't hardly ever leave stuff. I like to finish it. But here I just felt like it was time to walk away. And when I'm flipping through, I don't have, I don't have any desire to finish it. I don't feel like I have to finish it either. And I'm very grateful for that because I don't know what to do with it. So, yeah. Here is a more of a sketchbook page. I love this page so much. We have some houses. We have some just doodle sketches. Some room. Uh, and then a staircase. And I just, um, this part right here is taken from our own house. And I just. Um, I really like it. I like the way I was playing with it. I used my own paint, the Almoge paint, and usually when I paint I can bring in one or two of my own colors, but when I start off with my own colors I feel like it's work. I feel like I need to produce something to show that I've painted with them or I need to analyze them or, or stuff like that. Um, so it's very rare that when I use my own colors I enjoy the process. But this time I had a lot of fun and this is like when I made the album set this is what I had in mind and I just love doing that. So this just makes me happy. Happy to look at it, happy remembering that I did it and yeah. yeah. Here is a page I did. Uh, I followed a tutorial in this uh, 101 textures. Now I love learning and I love evolving and something that I've been trying to do now when I have my own business and I have a little bit more of extra cash in the business is investing in stuff for my uh, reference library. <laughs> well, it's like two shelves, but you know, it will be a library eventually. And I just love that I can buy reference books that has amazing pictures and stuff, but also this kind of books. I know you can find so much online, but for me, I just feel like it's very nice to open a page and just like sit here, look at it, nothing is moving about, I can just sit and read. Sometimes I want to follow a tutorial, I want to have something happening, but there is something special with flipping through, finding something and just like following it. So I did the spider web, oh here, so here you can see like the original tutorials um, and my version of it but I just uh, and, and I took it a little bit further and you, you had some like a book okay anyway uh, also when you do this you go in you know like a ball stylus and do that and these are in the shop too here is another example of I actually enjoyed working with my own colors and this one makes me very happy too I just really like it. I love these little bleeds that are coming up and I love that I didn't go in and try to soften everything out. I really like these sort of rougher edges that I usually just have to, like when I put it down I need to like fade them out but here I just let them be and I love that effect that you can get with watercolour. So yeah. Uh, we have a Turkish Angora and a Japanese Bobtail. And here I actually used my own colours too. I used Ingrid, Darcy, I use Darcy for everything. Harald, Tyr and Helge. Oh, it just has to be that one eye. But yeah. And uh, the Japanese bobtail. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this page, I have to say. Here I tried out the Marco Pastel colours. And I took some inspiration from Jane Davenport. She does these sort of lanky, flowy girls. So I did that, uh, tried to do those um, in the order of their pencil. And I do like a few of them. I feel like they sort of have that flowiness of them. And then some just feel very off. But I, I do like it. I like all the colors. We have some portraits of, of our dogs. Um, she has moved, but Asta, she is still here terrorizing us. And Uni, and I used the background here. Uh, I think the dogs are painted with the studio palette. And my studio palette, by the way, 
is this one. Ah, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of different pigments on there. But the background here, that is um, Elizabeth, and this is um, Elof. And I think I used some polychromos to go on top. Just some doodling, I think, yeah, I had ordered some some colored pencil from the Derwent Pro Color and Color Soft. So I just wanted to check them out. And here, um, I love saving images on Instagram. I think we all do. <laughs> um, and I go through and, you know, whenever I see something, I save them. And then sometimes when I'm like, I don't know what to draw, I just go to those saved images and I pick the images I want to draw. So, and then I just write the at uh, whoever took the image so I can go back um, and remember. And sometimes like this, uh, it just comes from the inspiration of the colors I have used together. So this one is sort of like a, uh, yeah, whatever this is. <laughs> uh, so we have some foxes, we have some, uh, actually a little bit of gouache here. Uh, a Highland. I mean, we had Highland uh, cattle before, and I do miss them so much. So I have a like. I feel like I have a special bond to to those kind of cows. And here are some flowers. Yeah, I, I just really like a very random page, but I feel like it. I tied it all together with the colors. Here I was working on partly on the uh, All Hallows Eve diorama, but also the stickers. And this one is my favorite still. I love that one so much. Here I tried out some paint from Clarity Chai Art. They are just so, so pretty. And I remember I was sitting outside and it was lovely weather and I was just doing these four leaf clover because I just, I felt really good doing that. And they were so nice to paint with. So if you want to try somebody else who make um, shimmery watercolors. I highly recommend checking her out. And she has these amazing artwork. Uh, I also have them on the sketchbook I'm working on currently. I have some of her beetles on here because I just love her beetles. They're so pretty. I also have um, uh, artwork from her in the in the office uh, above my desk. Here is something I started. <laughs> not really sure. I got a scroller box and I did film this and then I was like eh and then I, I didn't edit it. So yeah that was that was about that. But I do like saving this like in the sketchbook seeing like what kind of stuff I got and um I'm not sure if I will go back to scroller box or try somebody else or just not to do it. Um, I don't. I don't feel like I will at the moment, anyway. But it is really fun to get some random art supplies. Speaking of testing out the 120 square brute funners, so here I just when I first got them, I just uh, picked out whatever color just that caught my eye, and then I also did this of Albert, and I'm really happy with the color the nose section and the tongue here but then like the fluff on his head and ears and I just like ah a chicken out so yeah I'm really happy with like the detail part of his face but not like the uh, the hair and I think that is where the brute funners are a little bit tricky because they are very soft which is a good thing it's a good thing um but it is a little bit tricky when you want to do those really detailed pieces. But I'm really happy with it. I haven't done anything uh, colored pencil work so this was a first for me and yeah much respect to those who work with only colored pencils. <laughs> Here I was at my aunt's cabin. I just needed to get away for a bit and I just sat outside with a pen or a pencil and just um, it was late it was September the 9th of September and it was these um, seed capsules everywhere so I just started to draw them. I also did this little piece from when we were out on a walk. This one I started and I didn't finish. I was testing out some old pencil that I had when I was back in school. 
more from my time there. Uh, these are some buildings on her, on the property. I had a Moscow meal that was delicious. And then when I went back to get some more of those, uh, I couldn't find it, so I'm a little bit sad. <laughs> Uh, not really sure what happened here. I think it was going to do something with Albert. No? Here I was working on the Agatha Apothecary set. So these uh, have become stickers. You can see how the stickers turned out here. And I really like to do that whenever I can. If I have this stuff in a sketchbook. And then put like the finished piece here. Uh, when I paint something on just a loose sleeve I have a special a folder so I put everything in, in together but I think it's really fun to have like how it became the proper thing. Here is something I was doodling on a post-it note uh, when I was working one day so I just popped her in here. That was that was way too bright for my camera. <laughs> okay and then just a, in pencil some, some mushrooms or toadstools. Uh, not all of them are proper I made up a few but you know and then I just couldn't stop so I continued and on here I added some mica because I just love mica and I used ink for this so the Jane Davenport ink that I got in the beginning here so the violet uh, violet syrup and tinsel and then also some ferris wheel um, there is real press uh, ink too. I really, I really like this page. Here uh, it was more work from that diorama that I was starting on over here. I needed to just uh, and here I put in the clay that I was using. I just put in the stickers so if I needed to go back and find it I could just look up at the page. This one is, I think I was watching somebody talk about the Bridgerton or something. I think that was, <laughs> I don't know. But I really like how, how this one turned out. I really love it. And then I did this page. So I painted this one and just stuck it in with double sided tape. Uh, and I really like this page until I did this one and then I colored her with green. <laughs> And she looks like an alien and I'm like what but I do really like the uh, portrait I did of Napoleon I feel like it turned out really great I did like this pose before I colored it and I also like the dress on her so I do like certain parts of it but I don't like the whole I tried to do like because I painted her first with green and purple so I tried to bring that but you know what we make mistakes we are moving on here was a project I was working on that didn't really end up uh, this year. Here is another project I was working on but didn't end up for this year. But I do really like it. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Here are some of the cows that we had. So I did just like a body sketch of one photo and then I took a portrait of her. And I didn't add numbers or anything. And then this one I really love because the... The underpainting is with Agnes, so I don't know if you can tell, but it has some of that gold glitter shimmer in it. And then I just used some soft pastel to get that sort of foggy, misty look that was that, uh, that, that day. I did some chickens in high heels. I don't know why I want to paint chicken in high heels. I have been doing it for a few years and I think I will be doing it again. <laughs> yeah, so I started painting this lady. I don't know where she came from but I just find her so beautiful and I I love this pose and I love the pose I did there and I'm like how how did I do that how did I manage to draw that rose I have no idea no idea um I do feel like I lost a little bit of her facial expression uh, when I did this uh, I don't know what but I just feel like, I don't know, there's something special about her. Uh, and she also has a beagle. Uh, so her name is Anne and the dog's name is Beata. And I don't know, I just love her. 
I think she is the most beautiful thing ever. Yeah, she walks barefoot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, some stuff before Christmas, just some doodling. Here I was uh, working on another project. It didn't end up looking like this, but I took part from it. And here is a sample piece that I wanted to make. This one is a video that I had a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed making this one. And then I do love painting historical figures. So we have uh, Ulrike Eleonora, and then this is uh, Margaret. And I did some, like, took some other paper and sort of layered, and I really like that historical stuff. Uh, in February, I will have pastel colors coming out. So this was me trying to figure out, but I did not like what I was doing here, so moving on. Just some really loose flowers here and I used my own colours and I had a lot of fun. I really like this one. I do like this one too but I really like the colour combination here. So because it, that one is more expected especially for me. But this one um, it definitely it makes me yeah, it, it's something different with that one. More of that pastel colours. I really like this one. We have the gradient and then in white uh, gel pen I just did a lot of hearts and then this very scribbly and then I used some Pit Artist uh, ink uh, brush pens to go over and I really like the, the look of that. And then the last one. This is also something that just sort of came out. I didn't have a reference for him but I uh, imagine him to be one of those, you know, private PIs, private investigator people, uh, sort of like a Poirot person character. I don't know. He just sort of morphed out and um, I think he looks kind of good. So, <laughs> But yeah, so that is this sketchbook. I had so much fun in this one because I think it's because the paper is is not the best. Um, it's a little bit too thin. It has a very manufactured surface. It also gets, um, it doesn't have that luminosity that like nice cotton paper will add. But because of that, I didn't have the pressure because, you know, nothing here was going to be good, if you know what I'm like by that standard. So I just had fun and I didn't feel like if I did a page where I just sketched and worked out a detail or worked out a project, I didn't feel like I was wasting a spread. Uh, and I feel like thanks to that I have done so much that I'm very happy with. Like these uh, I'm very very happy with and also uh, even though I'm not like I, I can see that this is not as good as it could be but I'm very happy that I dared to do it. Also I feel like this is one of my favorite pages. I really like these that comes here and then this one. I think this one has to be my favorite page of this book just because I there's something about her that I'm just feeling so connected to. I don't know what it is. I don't. <laughs> but I just love her. So yeah that is my completed sketchbook that I ended 1st of November 2021. I uh, really enjoy it. Yeah, I think I, if I get a good opportunity to buy another one, I think I will. And I, I think I want to try the watercolor one. But yeah, for now, I will settle with the, with the journal that I have that is a little bit more for watercolor medium. <laughs> but anyway, I have really enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed looking through it. I hope you have a great day, take care, and I hope to see you soon.